one time I shared something with someone and right after saying that I just felt so bad like was that truly necessary did I have to say all of that to this person Oversharing has become a problem to a lot of people and this stems from the constant need for validation to be accepted. Make you know be like say to they form, until they do solo, 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 and then they like follow people, they do things. Because of that, you tend to share information that are supposed to be kept private. And the sad truth is that most of these people actually do not care. They no send. They just want to gossip, to have things to talk about. I am telling you, they no send you message. <laughs> you know, let me tell you something. Growing up in the northern part of Nigeria, there is this culture of friendship, of trust, of transparency, of honesty. Like you can tell anybody anything and you would never think that anybody will use it against you. You know, people are so nice and sometimes you think like every other person is like you. Now, fast forward to when I had finished school and I started going to other parts of Nigeria. Of course, I came to the West, I went to the East, and it quickly dawned on me that, come on, hey, I don't feel just they share things with people because these people are different. Like, they can behave differently, they don't really care. And quite frankly, some of them can be wicked and mischievous. So I quickly started to retrace my step and I had to like do a lot of inner work on myself to learn how to be private and you know don't just divulge information to people just to feel accepted and all of that. As I said, oversharing can be a problem to a lot of people. So instead of oversharing, what can we do? Number one, stop feeling the need to fill in the awkward silence when you're having a conversation with someone. Sometimes you can be having a conversation with someone and there is this awkward silence, the person is keeping quiet, the person no one talk again, maybe he's not even interested. And you know you now, being a nice person, you know just one, maybe like say you did boring or something, you begin to look for things to just fill in the silence with and you know discussions that are not even necessary. And in doing this, you find yourself oversharing. Listen, if there is an awkward silence in a conversation, it's not about you. Maybe the person is not even interested or the person is tired. Don't ever think that you have to bring up topic of discussion just to fill in the awkward silence. So learn how to keep to yourself, read body language, read the room, read facial expression and know how to just comport yourself. And that leads me to number two. Say this to yourself when you feel the need to overshare. A private life is a happy life. You see, eh? What people do not know, they cannot touch, they cannot destroy, they cannot control. So when you keep certain things about you private, you have control over it. For example, if you have a goal you intend to achieve, and even before you work on that goal, you're already sharing this goal, telling everybody that cares to listen, you see, hey, hmm, I want to build that five-story building, and you go loud. You know, you just they share the information, they share and they go. You're going to derive the joy and that pleasure of sharing it, that, you know, kudos they are giving to you, even before you achieve it. And that is going to kill your enthusiasm to pursue that dream and pursue that goal. Say to yourself, a private life is a happy life. Now, don't get me wrong. This does not mean that you cannot share some aspect of your life with people, but it has to be someone you can trust. Remember, not everyone is your friend. So when you find that person who can be considered as a confidant, then you can share these things with the person because you have tried and tested this person and you know that this person is your friend for real. All right, moving on to number three, practice active listening. You know, sometimes when you're having a conversation with people, most people tend to listen to respond, not to understand. So, you know, we're just caught up in this whole process of, okay, now she's saying this to me, I'm going to say this, I'm going to say that. Sometimes you don't have to respond. Sometimes you just want to listen, understand, and actually feel what the person is saying. I read this somewhere in a book that even fools are considered to be intelligent and mysterious when they do not talk too much. There is something about it when you do not talk too much. There is mystery around you, like people cannot easily classify you, and that is your power. So listen twice as much as you speak is even biblical in james chapter 1 verse 19 let me even read it my dear brothers and sisters take note of this everyone should be quick to listen slow to speak slow to become angry now the key word here is quick to listen slow to speak because in the multitude of words, you will be found wanting. Maybe you go for a family function or, you know, a reunion or something, and you're just blabbing and blabbing away, saying everything and everything. 
you don't need to say so much when i make these videos sometimes i'm also talking to myself it's not just about telling you telling you i'm also a work in progress i'm working on myself and i find the need to share these things with you because i believe that if it's working for me and i'm seeing improvement in my own life then if you apply these principles it's going to help you so it's also applicable to me when i find the need to you know okay we did this we did that no i just you know zip it there is no need for all of that if it's a confident someone i know i can trust then of course by all means i can share these things with the person moving on to number four before you say anything always take a second to consider if it is valuable and what do you intend to achieve by saying that in theory this might sound overwhelming right like how would they think about it i want to talk something i will first do analysis for my head but like what the heck can't I just live my life and be free? But then it's like you grooming yourself into becoming a better person. At the end of the day, we all want to achieve personal growth. All right. So if we do not check ourselves and, you know, sometimes look in words and speak to ourselves and evaluate some things, we cannot achieve personal growth. So ask yourself, is it valuable? This thing when I want to talk now, it will get used. Once you're able to answer these questions and trust me, you will determine if there's any need for you to share that information or not and number five practice journaling it's very important too it can help you when you feel the need to say all of these things and maybe you don't have someone like a confidant you can confide in and speak to and tell all of this personal stuff write it down write it down somewhere in your book and make sure you keep your things very private so that someone will not stumble on it and just know everything that you wanted to see when you journal these things and write them down at the end of the day you're going to feel like you have spoken to someone you know you're going to feel that relief that relief of maybe tension or whatever it is that you were passing through or you just really needed to release at that time so journaling is very important in helping you not to overshare and number six this one is a bonus tip everything does not have to be on social media hello yeah we live in a world right now where everything is social media you go to a party social media you eat food social media everything you do some people you don't even need to ask them any question just go to their handles and you find out everything you need to know about them well that is their decision and their personal life but it does not have to be like that people feel the need to share so that you can know that okay yes i do validate me me say follow you i know they do you know all of those kind of things sometimes i stumble on stories on the internet and i'll be like what like people they try you all of your affairs everything right there on the internet to what end see a last last human being a human being no matter what you do if someone does not like you and does not want to accept you the person might not really accept you if you like share your blood self no no that's the truth if you like share every every if the person does not want to validate you the person does not want to accept you then the person will not that is the more reason why you should find validation yourself validate yourself i don't need to share excessively just because i want you to accept me and know that okay i'm not forming i'm for you or i'm your friend if you cannot accept me for who i am then i'm sorry you don't deserve to be in my life it's as simple as that i hope this is of value to you thank you so much for watching my name is wendy zil if you're seeing my face for the very first time and i'm excited you came across this video stay blessed stay cheerful and i'll see you on the next one bye for now